Hi everybody, Petra here with Petra's Creative Plants. Thank you for joining me today. So today I wanted to do a quick little flip through of my October setup in my bullet journal. Um, I wanted to get this up and posted a lot sooner, but life has been very hectic and busy as it sometimes can be. So the video is a little bit later than I hoped. Let's get started. So I'm going to open up my journal and I use um, a Scribbles That Matter Pro 160 GSM paper dot grid journal. So I'm going to open it up. I have started to use my index page. I wasn't sure if I was going to do that. Um, all right, so I'm going to start with here. This is my October calendar page. And there's some things that I want to fill in here still, but I wanted to film this before putting all of my information in. So what I did here is I used my Mystic Spook stickers, which are available in my store. Um, and that's www.petrascreativeplans.ca. And those are what all of those stickers are. They're all from my Mystic Spook collection. I love the colors of them. And then I went ahead and I drew in my October title with the 2023 and I just colored those in using my um, my Paper Mate flare pens is what I used to color those in. And then I used one of my Artisoft dot markers to put in the dots around. Now, as I get into my weekly spreads here, um, which I will be using this for my journaling. My idea was inspired by, and I hope I say it correctly, but Torin Marie. Um, she has this amazing video that I saw where she does a spread and it's all about Scotland. Um, so mine isn't about Scotland, but I did definitely take a lot of inspiration from her. And so I very much appreciated her video. It's fabulous. I will also link that so you can go ahead and check it out. It is amazing. So here we are for the first week. And so what I did here is I used, so right now where I live, um, there's a lot of harvest, a lot of hay and wheat harvest. Um, and I'm sorry, you have to put, I have to apologize if my voice starts to crack a little bit. Um, I am starting to come down with a bit of a cold, I think. Anyways, so the fields are just this amazing gold color with all the hay and the wheat that's ready for harvest. So that's where I chose these colors from. And then our leaves are starting to turn in October. So I had these trees with the leaves starting to turn. And then as you go into the next week here, um, as we go further in the month, I have a picture. And this is actually... Um, referencing my dad who does a lot of fishing and things and I am a total daddy's girl. I love my dad with all my heart um, and fishing has always been a big passion of his and something we always did growing up so I wanted to capture that here. I really liked the idea of how um, Torin had in her video she had a water scene but she had the Loch, Nick Mon Loch Ness Monster silhouetted and I really liked it. Um, so I thought doing something like this would be kind of fun because it has some special meaning to me. And then there's a little dog up here in a cabin. And then as we move along here, I'm, you know, we just continue on with the cabin and the dog. And this is important to me because we grew up doing a lot of camping and I've always had a dog in my life. Um, so that's kind of been big things for me. And then as we move on towards the end of the month, it gets a little spooky for Halloween on the 31st. We've got the bats and some little spooky trees and so forth. So I absolutely love how this turned out. It took a lot of time. Um, I used some pencil crayons. I actually used my um, King Art, no, Castle Arts um, pencil crayons. I purchased a 120 piece set of Castle Art soft core pencil crayons and that's what I used to do this. I quite enjoyed using them. I haven't done anything with pencil crayon for a long time so that was a lot of fun. And so that is what I've done for October. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. As always thank you for joining me. 
definitely go check out Torin Marie's video. As I said, I will link that up in one of these corners here. Um, she does an amazing, fabulous job. All right, guys, as always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Bye.